The great journalist and screenwriter Gene Fowler said it best. He said, writing is easy. All you have to do is stare at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Of course, nobody writes on paper anymore, but the sentiment still holds true. The question a writer gets most often is, where do you get your ideas? Many writers struggle with this question, but not me. I can tell you exactly where I get my ideas. Right here. His name is Absalom T. Hanover, the bringer of notions. I found him at a yard sale about ten years ago, and almost immediately he began whispering story ideas to me. Really good ones. I paid the four dollars, and he's been with me ever since. Whispering. I wouldn't call myself a famous writer, but I have sold a few things, enough to keep me going. And yet I still find it difficult to- Mike! Pedal? Never thought you'd see me again, huh, big man? How did you get in here? I've got a key. You made me give mine back, but I made a copy. But I changed the locks! Some mysteries can't be solved, Mike. Look, I know why you're here. You want me back. I understand, of course. We had a good run, but but we broke up. That's all behind us now. Water over the bridge. Under the bridge. Never mind. Don't flatter yourself, Ragtop. I didn't come for you. I came for Absalom. What? I decided that being a writer is a pretty sweet gig. So I want the doll so it can whisper sweet best-selling nothings into my ear. Are you insane? Being a writer is the worst job in the world. There's no money. Nobody respects the work. Everybody thinks they can improve what you've written. Thankless. Still sounds better than waiting tables and having your ass pinched by every flea-bitten flunky in Florida. Absalom stays with me. Oh, yeah? What if you're deceased, gushing blood all over this nappy beige carpet? Highly unlikely, because plot twist! I guess I forgot to mention, I got a sweet gig writing for the comic books. The Adventures of the Crimson Storm. Pretty cool, huh? And also, bulletproof. Ah! Let's take this outside, chica. What? So, you've got a stuffed alligator that gives you ideas for stories. How does that allow you to bring fictional superheroes to life? Look, maybe it's all part of a story I'm writing. Maybe it's all part of a story I'm writing. Who are you? Nobody. <laughs> Mike! Enough daydreaming. Writing is 10% inspiration, 90% perspiration, you know? Yeah, yeah. Back to work. And then you fly into the spaceship, and there's this chamber with a hundred giant robots, all with buzzsaws for hands, and then the camera follows you as you crush them one by one until there's just this huge pile of rubble. It's a great idea, but how can we afford it? Nah.